Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to install this update KB5062553 on your Windows 11 computer because of this error code that is 0x800F081F. So if you are receiving this error, the first step is to pause and restart the update. So uh, go to Windows update and then over here you can see the pause option. Pause. And then hit resume updates. So pause and resume the updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is to start app readiness service. Now for this, you can type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Find app readiness, make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now you can try to update still not working. The next step is to run update troubleshooter. Now for this open Windows settings and then go to system option over here and then scroll down click on troubleshoot option over here you can see other troubleshooter click on it and then over here you can see windows update click on run this will open this new screen and Now over here you can see run the windows update troubleshooter option. Over here you can see I can't install or uninstall an update. Click on it. And over here you can see can we run windows update automated diagnostic. Click on yes. Now this process will take some time and uh, just follow the on, sc on screen instruction over here. But most of the time in my case it did not work so uh, you receive some kind of error here you can see the windows update diagnostic failed to run would you like to talk to an agent so if you want to talk to an agent you can click on yes microsoft uh, agent will help you to install this update if you can do that you can do that or else you can follow the next step next step is to restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service now for this type in services in windows search box click on services and then find windows update scroll down here you can see make a double click and then you can click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click and then click on restart and then find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click click on restart and once this is done now you can check still not working the next step is to use windows 11 installation assistant now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and run this exe file if you see uh, click on yes to allow and if there is any update you will see update now option or install now option you can use this in my case it is already up to date next we should use microsoft update catalog now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here write down the name of the update that is kb5062553 and then you can search this update over here and then over here you can see windows please ignore the language let me translate this here you can see windows 11 version 24h2 for x64 based system so this is the right update for me uh, for you you can go ahead and go to system and then go to about in windows settings and then you will see what kind of system you have for me it's 64 based system so here you can see windows 11 version 24h2 for x64 based system this is the right one click on download for me that is the right one and then here you can see kb5062553 click on it and download this file once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can install this update manually if that does not work you can even install this update restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy the command till here yeah copy this and then type in notepad in windows search box 
and then open notepad paste all the command in notepad go to file click on save as go to desktop you can set the location as desktop and then you can name this file as wufix.bat and then for save as type select all files click on save now you can go to desktop make a right click on wufix bat file make a right click click on run as administrator make sure that you open this as an administrator click on yes to allow this will open command prompt on your computer first of all it will stop all the windows update services if you receive this prompt do you want to continue this operation type in yes uh, y for yes and then hit the enter key now first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now there are a couple of scans so the scan will take some time and once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services and once this is complete it it will auto close or you can close it and once this is done restart your computer and after the system restart you can try to update your windows 11 and then check next step is to use option fix problems using windows update now for this you can go to windows update go to advanced option over here scroll down go to recovery option over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will again take some time and once the reinstall is done you can log in and then you can check still not working the next step is to use media creation tool so if nothing is working you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you again to microsoft website over here scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file once uh, run this exe file once you run it uh, you will see the screen uh, like accept you have to click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next over here and then set the location as desktop then click on save now this process will take some time and once this is complete click on next and then you will see the finish option so hit finish over here once you hit finish just wait for this to close automatically once this is closed automatically now go to desktop you can open this windows iso file make a double click and then make a double click on setup file and then click on yes to allow and then click on next over here and then click on accept over here and this process will again take some time and then over here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer and then you can click on install after the installation log into the computer and your windows should be up to date so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error and you should be able to install this update successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.